Well, hello everyone. This is Gil Columbus with Coldwell Banker Residential Real Estate. Well, this is vacation week, but that honeydew list doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Uh, this morning, I'm out getting a little cardio in, about to do my push-ups, and uh, get started on my day. This is day four of my vacation. It's been anything but, however. We'll see what happens through the rest of the week. Yesterday, I wrote up an offer. I did a showing. I wasn't even supposed to do that. But, as you know, a real estate agent's work is never done. Well, now I'm inside. I've had a chance to cool down a little bit after my workout, and I'm back at it again. I really like working off my iPad too. It's just so convenient, but um, especially when I'm out doing a listing or doing a showing appointment. It's just good to have. It's mobile. It's handy. But when I'm home, I really like the ability to be able to add another monitor to it because I'm a person that likes to use my keyboard and mouse, and so uh, when I'm searching the MLS or doing other things, uh, it just makes it so much easier for me to do what I need to do. So I really like this feature. Uh, not big on laptops anymore. I, I have one, but trying to lug around a big laptop, finding the internet connection, and um, make, making sure it has enough battery power, you know, all those things get a little old sometimes. So I'm trying to make my life as easy as possible. But as you said, as I said earlier, this was supposed to be vacation week. So um, unfortunately for me, this is just what I do. So even when I'm on vacation, I'm still hard at work, still searching the MLS constantly. Uh, I have a client that I've actually put three offers in uh, for them on their behalf on various properties that they like. But right now the market is just crazy. Uh, every offer they put in gets either beat or some, someone comes with cash and just blows them out of the water. So right now it's really a, a seller's market. They really have the pick of the litter right now. And there's more buyers than there are houses out there. So I'm trying to always stay ahead of the game. I'm always trying to get the advantage by making sure I know what's out there, what's new on the market, so we can go see it, put an offer in, and hopefully get someone to accept it before uh, the multitude of people just comes and tries to uh, um, take over. So. Uh, yeah, this is vacation, right? Yeah, well, um, the good thing is I'm home, right? I'm in my shorts, I'm in a t-shirt, uh, I don't have to be at the office, so there's a benefit, I guess, to uh, being a real estate agent from that standpoint. You do have control over your time, and, you know, my office is pretty much wherever I got an internet connection and wherever I got my iPad, so that's a good thing. Well, I just got finished with another showing and hopefully this is gonna lead to another offer. Um, so, so much for that vacation, right? It seems like I've been busy, busy, busy the whole time. But it's a good thing, it's a good thing. When you're working for yourself, there's gratification, the satisfaction that you just don't get working for someone else. So, I'm not complaining, I'm just explaining. Well, we're headed to a video shoot with my social media marketing manager. Uh, still on vacation, so I guess this is all a part of it. So I might as well take this time to do little things I couldn't do before or had to had a hard time squeezing into my schedule. So uh, we're gonna meet together. We're gonna talk a little bit about some of the challenges, um, the reason why I got into real estate, my wife, she's with me. My wife and trusted assistant, she's with me Hi. for support. <laughs> yeah, so it's been a really good week so far, vacation. You know, I've had a lot of time to just get some rest, clear my mind, even get some training in. So it hasn't all been bad. You know, I have done a little work, but I haven't really overdone it this, this week. Uh, so 
this is the fun stuff though this is it's always fun when i get to do stuff like this because you know it's it's interacting it's helping to build our business helping to build our brand mm -hmm. and you know it's just fun so what about having um these deals working one should be closing next week yeah, we finally got a deal that's close, That's going to be heading to the closing table. Um, that We've been working on it for a while. We had some challenges uh, getting it there, but we finally, we finally, uh, it finally looks like we're going to be able to get it to the closing table. So we're excited about that. Um, also, I have uh, an offer out on another property. Hopefully, uh, it won't get caught up in a bidding war. And that's been pretty uh, common in the in recent months. Oh yeah. Yeah. And we've got another client too that's moving up, um, relocating. So we're going to be helping them. Um, I, I got some showings uh, scheduled for this weekend coming up. Uh, so and she's having family come along with her too, coming up from uh, South Florida area to help her decide. So uh, that's going to be nice to going to be dealing with a new client there. We've uh, been corresponding through text and phone calls for the last several, I guess about a month now, over a month. So now we finally get to meet and, and get to really talk about what their needs are, what they really want to do. So as I said in our previous video, we've been pretty busy. Uh, it hasn't, it has not been, uh, it has not been slow at all. Uh, the real estate market uh, has been really booming in this area, especially for new buyers. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it's more buyers than houses available. So uh, you can really understand the challenge of finding something quality uh, for your clients in this kind of uh, environment. But, you know, it's fun. It's fun still trying. And I, I do believe that with prayer uh, for these clients is on my part as well that we'll be able to get them placed in a home to, of their liking and, and, you know. And the good thing with this market is even though it's a seller's market, if sometimes people think that um, buying a home is going to be quick if they just find the location that they want and finding the home that they like, but when it's a seller's market, the homes go really fast to, well, the highest bidder. But so if you're really wanting to buy a home right now, it's a good time to start because it's not a quick and easy process to get the home of your choice. I, I know what you're saying. It's like um, you're there's still, certain concessions you have to make now because, because you have to move faster for one to get the offer in if you really like the home um, there may be some aspects of the home you you're not necessarily crazy about but you have to use your imagination and say you know what I can fix that or I can change this I don't like this color I don't like this count these countertops yeah you know you can you got to look you got to look through uh, but when I say the home of your choice I mean you you'll see homes and it'll be what you want but if um, you know, someone else um, gets to it before you as far as putting in, you know, an offer, then all of a sudden you don't get the home that you want. So it's best to start that way because you will find, you will find something that, you know, you can be happy with. It's just that it's better to start earlier to give yourself time to find that home yeah yeah you do um, you know because the availability of some of these homes they're, they're moving fast off the market so the amount of time you have to choose to as to whether you like the home has decreased some uh, because now you you don't have the luxury of saying that well you know I'll get back to this home next week because when you have a true buyer's market where there are a, the, the market is flooded with a lot of home choices you could see a house last month and go back to it probably in three or four weeks and it's still there and make an offer right 
Um, so you have that luxury. Now it's like if you if you like it and you think you really might you might be able to deal with some of the deficiencies, and I call it deficiencies because it may just be preferences that you have. If you could deal with uh, some of those things, you might want to go ahead and put an offering sooner than later. So, yeah, it's a it's a it's a different climate right now. Um, it could be pre it could be some pressure there, especially if you got to move soon. Like if your lease is about up, and or your if you're renting and your lease is about up in a couple of months, um, or you you need really need to relocate to another city because maybe you're getting a, a job in another city and you need to sell your current home. Um, now you shouldn't have a problem if you're in that situation in this market because there are a lot of buyers out there. You should be able to sell the house unless there's something, you know going on that would prevent it from selling quickly but um yeah there are a lot of things to consider right now